I'm in Fukai town in Minami Shimabara. I heard that there is an unmanned construction machinery at work here. Let's go and check that out. Hello. Nice to meet you. I heard that there is an unmanned heavy equipment that works on constructions. That's right. What we're doing here in Anzen is building an unmanned construction system. It's the first in the world. He showed us what they made using this technology. This here is the first ever check dam made with the unmanned construction system. Do you mean this whole area? Right. Are you saying that the whole gigantic dam was built completely unmanned? Yes. It took three years, starting from 1995, to build this check dam. That's amazing! Check dam is also known as the Sabo Dam. When a landslide occurs during heavy rain, it blocks the mud upstream and prevents it from gushing downstream. At the base of the Unzen volcano, there are six dams like this, which are all made without the presence of operators on the machinery. Can we see the unmanned heavy equipment in action? Yes, it's working over there. Take a look with this. Yes, I see it moving. It's moving around with such meticulous precision. Here, they're removing the sediments to prevent mudslides from occurring in case of heavy rain. Looking at the backhoe, which is a digging machine, nobody's on it. It is completely unmanned. This dump truck is also moving around briskly, and this too is unmanned. The origin of its development had a reason unique to the area. After the eruption of Unzen volcano, there were more than 9,400 pyroclastic flows. Every time there was heavy rainfall, a mudslide would occur. There was an urgency for construction work to be done inside this dangerous zone. This is how the remotely controlled heavy machinery was developed. I was given special permission to enter a control room 150 meters away from the construction site. Wow! There are so many monitors! That's right. This is the control room for the unmanned equipment. Inside the room, there were five people operating the machinery. The room was extremely quiet. Everyone is concentrating on the control. data, the guide helps in moving the machinery.
For example, here is a backhoe used for digging. The white line on the machine guidance system is the target line for digging. The numbers on the bottom show the distance of the shovel to the target line. By integrating the system, it was made possible to construct it with high accuracy. This technology is also used in removing debris from the nuclear power plant that was hard hit by the earthquake and tsunami in 2011. It is also playing an active role in many other disaster sites, such as the restoration work of a fallen bridge. We are now working on developing unmanned equipment that can work halfway underwater to help in situations such as river floods. We will work to make advancements in the hopes of making our country more disaster resilient.